Hey folks, welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse and today we have a very special episode for you because we're showing off Last Light and Last Light and Infinity. This is an unboxing for two. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Last Light from Gray Fox Game, designed by Roy, Roy Canaday. And you may know that name from Dice Tower. We've also interviewed him here on the channel. You can see the video here on the channel. Um, so, Last Light. Let's peel off the plastic, and I'd like to tell you about twitch.tv slash heartboardgames, where we play games like Last Light. And also, this is a reminder that these videos are uncut, so you're enjoying them at the speed I'm enjoying them as well. So, if uh, anything should happen, you'll be witnessing it like me. Now, there's been in the past a few times where I've had to cut things, but very, very rare. All right, so we had the plastic... This is the deluxe uh, deluxe version, and I should have read that before I tore it. Deluxe edition contains one exclu exclusive resin gold planet with special rules. You know what? Let's zoom that down. So you can read along with me. 40 exclusive plastic asteroids, not steroids. 7 exclusive plastic asteroid pieces. 32 exclusive plastic extractor... Extractors? <laughs> Canisters? No, that's in the next one. Um, extractor pieces. I'm going to cut off exclusive plastic. So 60 resource canisters, 30 light tokens, 20 damage tokens, all exclusive plastic. Exclusive technology cards, 10 exclusive races, exclusive spot UV game board. And if you don't know what spot UV is, um, does the board... Does this have it? No. I'll point it out when you see it. It's it's the shiny bits. All right. So let's look at last light right now. Oh, come on, lid. Here we go. This is one of the top three most played games at Board Game Geek Con just recently. Ooh, a dark inside. I like that. Here's our book. So for such a big game, there's only 15 pages here, down the back page, 16 pages. So um, back credits, I always like a summary on the back. I will continue saying that forever and ever, but maybe they put it somewhere else. Maybe there's a player eight or something. I don't know. So we have player boards. We have a rotating game board. We're going to see all of these things, all the ships that are contained, some unique planets, damage tokens, all sorts of fun stuff here. Set up on page four. Oh, different, different player setups there. Winning the game on page nine, but to be fair, playing the game comes after that, which is kind of rare. Usually it's last, but I actually like it before that. Because this is something, whenever I'm describing how to play a game, that's one of the things I mention is, how do you win the game? It should be one of the first things you mention. So it makes sense. End of around game end. Here we go. If a player has 20 likes. So ends on 14, starts on 4. So yeah, a little 10-page rule. But to be fair, I wouldn't even count these two pages. <laughs> I mean, count, one, count them all as one, basically. So really, it starts on 9, ends on 14. you got about five pages of rules. That's pretty cool. All right, planet assembly. So some assembly required. Before your first game, punch out all the planet planetary ID tokens. Interesting. And we also have quick reference. Easily missed rules. I like that, because it happens. All right, so this is all encased in plastic here. And we got something right there, a mysterious something. But first, I'm going to take this off. And this might actually prove a challenge. I did put scissors nearby. If you've watched any of my other unboxings, you'll know that often I'll forget to uh, put the scissors nearby and I'll have to scramble and find them. But today is different. Today is a new day. And on this new day, I managed to put scissors nearby. All right. This is a really tight plastic. Um, so much so that it kind of bent the top a little bit just because it's so tightly wound up, but should be fine. 
Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Just bent the outside of it a little bit. But as you can see, using the glare, there's really no impact on that. So we're going to put these aside. Just taking a quick peek at them. Here's the things for the planets that we were told to put on there. And I'm guessing it's like a first player token or something like that. Really dig the art choice there. Really cool. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> kind of created a circle there uh, because of that. Because <laughs> of the plastic. Just like, uh, you know, the rim cardboard ribnets or something. I don't know. This board reminds me of, uh, what's it called? Um, Ki Mer Mer Monster Hunter? The one, the game that came out with Gloomhaven, like, around it. It's just a blackboard. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, so we're going to put the spinning thing in the center. Well, that's interesting, though, because it has to fold up, so it's something you remove every time you play. So it must be easy to throw in and throw out. There's this. There's all of this. Okay, so this is our spinning... Oh, they're both the spinning parts. They still had the little punch out in the middle. So this will go here, and they're both both spinny things. But yeah. All right. Next up. That's the board. All right, so this is the inside. Remember, this is the deluxe version. So here we go. Uh, this is by Game Trays, it appears. Yep, Game Trays, Last Light. Straight up, like, practically just marbles. But really cool ones. And lots of room for others. Hmm. All the different planets. Neat. Um, they're going to be nicer whenever they have all the stands on them and they all still fit in that spot. We have some bags here. Lots of bags. Ooh, it comes with this. I'm guessing that's just to keep it shape during storage and shipping. Oh, is this the uh, cards I was talking about? The ones that... Player aids. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they say the same thing on both sides. Do they? I don't know. The icons are a little different. Everything's different. Just says the same title at the top. We have the Verons. So this comes with, uh, they said, 10 new races. I don't know which one's the new races and which ones are the old races. So we got the Grawl, Xenolithan, Xenolithan, Jotnari, Pelimos, Pella, Deroga, the Nyrix, the Kubi, Kubi, mm. Torug, and the Verons. All right, and then this feels like a much larger stack, so those must have been the bonuses. So that makes these the bases. Ionel, Deschard, Lane. Let me refocus just in case. Okay, seems good. The Talaran, Berlashan, Vexa, Inkelios. <laughs> Melifera. If you have captions on, what is it saying? 
Altera. Impetros. Arc Neck. Arc Net. Nagao. I like Naga. Okay. Cephalon. Ch Chaalan. Ozoral. And then back to the beginning. All right. Here's the Golden Planet promo. To play with the Golden Planet, simply replace any planet in the entering section of the game board prior to starting play. The special Golden Planet counts as all four for sake of planetary achievements. Well, let me just open this, so make sure there's nothing in the middle here. That one's done. Exotic Matter Planetary Exploration Tokens Rules. And you can pause that if you want to read it. It's a lot. And there's the back. Cool. We have uh, these. Lots of cards to bring out. Get these. More cards, more dice. By the way, there were some dice somewhere. I have another pack just like this. Okay, here it is. Boom, two. Um, I wasn't sure which game that came with because we also have Suka Yumi from Gray Fox Games, and they are shipped together. Here's the bases. Basic bases. There you go. I'll assemble all that soon. Oh, we got a new kind of coin. If these are coins. Plastic see-through coins. I like that. They didn't go with the standard, what you're usually used to. If these are coins. I could be saying, oh yeah, these are great coins. And it's not even coins. Pretty sure they're coins. <laughs> These are something. I like them, though. They have a lot of texture. You can see people just sitting here doing this the whole time. Oh, bigger coins. Further, further confirms my coin suspicion. Everything so, has so much texture. I really like that. And the, the clear things. That's cool. Here's the stands for the planets. Some more deluxe pieces here. We have uh, golden things and not golden things. Let's have pur purple things. I don't remember what they're called. It's in the book, and the book's buried currently. We have asteroids, which. Honestly, if you don't have the deluxe version, go outside and find some nice rocks. They're about the size of... Let me give you a size comparison. They're about as tall as a card is wide. They take up about a third of a card. There you go. And then you could deluxify your own regular copy. Or just get these. <laughs> then we have... Um, Oh, some more stands and another. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of a base. It doesn't look like the other bases. I'm sure I'll find out. Um, let me look underneath because we always look underneath. And yeah, it's pretty safe. AKA mold free. And then we'll look at the cards last. But keep in mind, we still have infinity to look at. It's going to be a whole unboxing. We're doing it all in one. So we've got some ships here. This one I'm going to have to go to the really close up. You know what? And I bet I didn't set my camera yet. Hold tight. Let me, let me, it's really quick. The camera likes to 
go on autofocus. If you watched my studio um, tour, you'll know that I'm not a fan of Logitech. And this is the Logitech we use that's right here. And it likes to go rogue and set its own brightness every time there's a reset. There we go. It's pretty dark, but it will lighten it a little bit. OK, that's probably pretty good. All right, so this is a ship. Yeah, that's that's good. Push some of this aside. I'm gonna. I mean, I still have another box to open, so it's kind of on the dark side. But those yellow ones come through. I think it's fine. It's just because there's so much dark stuff around. If I put a light background in the back like that. Oh yeah, that's fine now. There we go. Plastic pieces. There's so many. Okay, so I showed you a blue ship and a yellow tiny ship. I'm just going by the bags. Um, I guess this makes sense if you played with the regular version. Interesting. There's so many little things too. These are like little stargates. Yep, little portals, big red ships. If you want to get a close up of this, we will be playing this on the channel soon. So come see the playthrough. Or subscribe here. It'll be here soon. Um, here we go. I mean, there's just so many. And I imagine there's a bunch more in the next box. So I'm just going to get through giving a brief view of them through the bags because opening each bag would be I mean some of these you can't even see through the bag so I gotta open these like if I can't see it on my screen then you can't see it either like that that is just mostly shiny already okay this is the right side up I was like man why is there a big flat side it's like oh that's the bottom okay so yeah there's lots of details Lots of details on these pieces. But yeah. So, yeah, sorry, I couldn't give a... Sorry, I had to keep it brief, because we still got to look through the cards and open the next box. And we're already at 17 minutes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, wow, it is what it is. We want to keep it all in one. All right, let's go back to here. So we got to come on camera. You know you want to focus. That bottom part's really light, so we'll go back to the other one. All right, so we got a couple of close-ups on cards. I don't know what the promo cards are, but uh, okay. So we got some different colors there. Okay, these are these must be the actions. I know a little bit about the game because I made the Kickstarter video. So I know it, but you know, it's been ages since I did that. Alrighty. Oh. Sometimes these just want to fight me. So let me just open them up now. So we got Infinity to look at. Last Light Infinity, which raises the player count up to eight. It says two to eight players on the box. And I really like the choice of putting it in a white box. They look really neat side by side. Hence the thumbnail. Which for these unboxings, I usually don't make thumbnails. I just take the, one of the pre-made ones. But today, it's different. Let's look at this. So, uh, seems to be a goal since it says keep hidden. Planetary achievement. Oh, you want to control a certain number of planets. I'm going to be skipping a lot of these just because it's kind of unwieldy in my hands. Because they're tiny cards and they're slippery. But they all just give a little bit of information. I mean, I'm going to put some down. 
lots of information. Cool. All right. Have you played this game? Is this a Twilight Imperium killer? Is that what it's set out to be? Let me know in the comments below and put all this stuff back in the box because are we? Oh, I still have this to look at. Promo tech cards. Okay, so these are definitely promo cards. So I'll go a little slow on that, but feel free to pause it anytime you see something you want to read in detail. I'll try to make sure every card has its moment. At least it'll be pausable. Solar dish, self-learning AI. All right, orange cannon, solar dish, supersonic. Sorry if my thumb covered any of that, but that should be it for the base box of Last Light. So at this point in time, I'm gonna remind you, please subscribe while we get over to the next box, which is Last Light Infinity. I'm gonna put these back in here. I'm just gonna find a home form right now because I have a lot to go through, like to um, prep all of this, like, how does this work? Like, these cards, um, we'll figure it out later. There's a system, I know there is, there always is. And then these will go on top. Cause I gotta clean up a little space and I'm not even, still. <laughs> that's how you tell they're live is cause all that. Well, I could just put them aside for now, put everything aside for now. Uh, but I, I still need a little room, right? All these minis in the way. I know, not really a problem, right? Alrighty. Put them all just temporarily in the box. We'll we'll fix all this after after we cut out. So let's put this here. Good? Good. Put that there. My, oh my my. All right, so now we're on to this one. Oh, it's so much stuff. Last Light Infinity. Significantly lighter, which is nice. Let's be off the plastic. I like to tell you about Twitch.tv. <laughs> no, I don't need to do that. Um, so this one has 40 exclusive plastic, dot, dot, dot. Mini ships, extractor pieces, resource canisters, light tokens, damage tokens. It's a uh, 40, 32, it's, it's a lot. Exclusive UV. Oh yeah, I didn't show you the, the UV I mentioned on the other board. So this part, that shininess, that's the UV. So pretty neat. All that UV shininess. Last Light Infinity Deluxe. There we go. It's gonna be white on the inside. Makes sense. It's black to match its its uh, counterpart. All right, so that's too much. Let's go back to the wide, or wider, I should say. All right, a note about this expansion. The goal of this expansion is to allow up to eight players to play Last Light. However, the contents of this expansion can be used in games with fewer players. Feel free to mix the expansion colors and alien factions into the game with any amount of players. Expansion components are marked with an infinity symbol, so you can easily remove them when desired. All right, and so it has a bunch of different resources in here. Different light crystals. Oh, is that what the coins are? Okay, yeah, it must be because there's no money. Uh, damage tokens, etc., etc., etc. Oh, that's what the red things were, damage tokens. All right, so five-player setup, you add these little pieces next to it. Eight players. 
So it's pretty much the basic board. You just add little, little, little accents to it. Little bonuses to it. Here we go. Now this is also wrapped tightly. I decided to do these unboxings together because there's so many. I figured there'd be a lot of references to each other. So I just put them together. One big video. And I see, I mean big, we're going on 25 minutes here. Just to let you know it's live, it's almost 26 minutes. All right. So there's that UV coming out again. Very nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it separate from the other one. <laughs> I have a lot of planets to prep. My, oh me my. Go. Oh, uh, put this bottom layer should be fine. Nice big piece of foam to keep it protected. There, lots more bags. We have other. The other colors seem to be light green, white, black, and yellow. This has the Stargates and has a lot more of the rare components, or not the rare components, the components that are rare, common, whatever, um, that we saw in the book. I have a lot more of these crystals, and I don't have to go over these because these are all complete duplicates of what was in the game before. Damage tokens, planet bases, more planets that are going to fit into our game tray of the base game. And then these ships. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're the same molds. Or, I think they're different molds. Oh, no, no, no. The white one looks like the purple one. So some might be unique, but some might be the same. I don't want to say either way because I'm not that familiar with it, but we'll discover it along the way. All right. So we check another box. There's that. We have cards that escaped us. To look through, we have some expansion races. We have some planet bases. But that's it. I figured that would go a lot faster than the base game. A lot less to look at here. I want to make it under 30 minutes. Okay, so we got we got a couple minutes. <laughs> All right, we have the Morlock. Oh, come on, camera. We're on a schedule here. There we go. Morlock, Avalon. Megalanth, Recog Initiative, Neluma, Eski, Sirenians, Nebulan, Aharuna, Lasahan. All right. Then we have these cards, which I'll get to close up on. Having not played the original game yet, I feel like these are normal. Like these were apparent in the other game. And then these, I uh, may as well. Come on. What's our time? 29 minutes? Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you believe. Or hit it if you don't believe. <laughs> There's no rules. All right. Graveyards. Here we go. Does that feel different? I don't know. Command. All right. So that's pretty much it for Last Light and Last Light Infinity. Come on back to twitch.tv slash heartboardgames. Or we play games like this live. Oh, they have different backs there. Oh, there's the different colors. Oh, right. These things. The command or whatever. All right. And then, um, yeah, and subscribe here. And until next time, the box is closed.